the issue of uh, if Al Gore does decide to jump in this race and where the, the climate issue uh, facing this world falls into play. I've seen a number of different polls on, on how important this is to Americans. He's standing, uh, Richard, we're going to have to get back to your answer, but here's Al Gore. Let's listen in to what he's saying. I'm, of course, deeply honored to receive this award. I want to thank the uh, Nobel Committee and it is uh, even more significant because I have the honor of sharing it with the IPCC, which is the world's preeminent scientific body focused on improving our understanding of the climate crisis. Uh, and it's made up of individuals who have tirelessly and selflessly worked on this uh, for so many years. I, uh, uh, Tipper and I will go to Oslo and I will accept this uh, award on behalf of all of those who have been working so long and so hard to try to get the message out about this planetary emergency. Uh, there have been so many thousands of people who have worked as long as I have, uh, and there have been so many activists who have been trying to sound the alarm. And um, I, Tipper and I are here because uh, we had a, a, a pre-scheduled work session at the Alliance for Climate Protection. We're going to donate 100% of the proceeds of this award to the Alliance for Climate Protection. Uh, it, that amount is very small compared to the enormous uh, challenge that lies ahead. And the Alliance for Climate Protection, headed by Kathy Zoic, uh, is organizing a massive grassroots movement and a mass advertising campaign. Uh, all focused together on trying to change the way people think in our country and all around the world about the urgency of the climate crisis. It is the most dangerous challenge we've ever faced, but it is also the greatest opportunity that we have ever had to make changes that we should be making for other reasons anyway. This is uh, a chance to elevate global consciousness about the challenges that we face now. Just two weeks ago, there was a um, report from a part of the scientific community about the accelerated melting of the North Polar ice cap. Uh, now, unbelievably, they tell us that unless we act with great urgency, the entire North Polar ice cap could be gone in less than 23 years. I could give you hundreds of other examples of how the alarm bells are going off in the scientific community and how the scientists themselves, some of whom have, who have been active with the IPCC are, are, are here today, they've been trying to get the attention of the world community. For my part, I will be doing everything I can to uh, try to understand how to best use uh, the, the honor and recognition of, of this award as a way of speeding up the, uh, uh, the, the change in awareness and the change in urgency. It, it, it truly is a planetary emergency and, and we have to respond quickly. There's an old African proverb that says, if you want to go quickly, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. We have to go far, quickly, and that means uh, we have to quickly find a way to change the world's consciousness about exactly what we're facing and why we have to work to solve it. I'm going back to work right now. This is just the beginning, uh, and the Alliance for Climate Protection is going to be uh, uh, charging uh, straight ahead. I want to congratulate uh, the IPCC again and again thank the Nobel Committee. Thank you all very much. Well, there you have it. Al Gore speaking for the first time since an incredible honor for him, the latest and many that he's received over his life, but the first, put the first Nobel Peace Prize, excuse me, and he is the first American since Jimmy Carter to get the Nobel Prize. He's